This video is sponsored by Western Digital. Hi guys, it's Ben from Adapt Network and today we're taking a look at Western Digital's new solid state drives. Western Digital have sent us a free WD Blue SSD to take a look at. So let's install it in our system and see how it performs. Western Digital's new SSD lineup currently consists of two models, WD Green and WD Blue, with the WD Green designed for everyday computing tasks and the WD Blue being the higher performance model. Both variants come in 2.5 inch and M.2 form factors and boast impressive read and write speeds, with a maximum capacity of 240GB for the WD Green and 1TB for the WD Blue. Our 500GB drive has an endurance rating of 200TB written, meaning that it can handle 200TB of data being written onto the drive before risking any read or write failures. It's therefore going to last a very long time for most users, even for those with heavier workloads. Installation is easy. With our 2.5 inch model, we simply needed to insert the drive into a free storage bay and then attach the SATA and power cables. It's worth making sure that the SATA cable is a version 3, supporting a 6GB per second transfer rate to fully utilise the SSD's performance. Before jumping in and testing the drive in a real world scenario, we ran some benchmark tests using Crystal Disk Mark to see how the numbers compared between the SSD and our system stock hard drive. While all the numbers for the solid state drive are much higher, which is good, the most useful figures to pay attention to are the 4K random results at the bottom. This represents the real world performance, where the system is jumping around reading random portions of the drive. And of course, the numbers speak for themselves. To test the SSD in a video editing scenario, we put together a little Adapt Network promotion video. By firstly installing our video editing and effects software onto the solid state drive, we saw much shorter load times meaning we could spend more time editing and less time waiting for programs to load. Pulling source files from the SSD also speeded up our workflow, and by pairing it with our high capacity hard drive, we still had plenty of storage to archive our completed project. The most impactful impact we saw though, was with video rendering. Rendering our 5 second outro sequence onto the SSD was 2 seconds quicker than with the hard drive. If you do a lot of video editing, that adds up to a lot of time saved. Next up, Gaming. We installed a number of games onto the SSD to see how the performance improved. When games are installed on a hard drive, the slower read speeds can cause a bottleneck, meaning that you can experience late object pop-ins or worse. By installing games onto the SSD, the faster read speeds massively cut loading times, and the experience was ultimately more immersive as a result. So it's clear that upgrading to a solid state drive is the perfect way to give pretty much any system a substantial boost in overall performance. Combine an SSD with a high capacity hard drive to archive large files and you've got yourself a winning combination. With Western Digital being a brand that's earned trust with their reliable hard drives over the years, it's definitely worth checking out their new solid state drives if you're in the market for one. For now, I'll leave you with our completed video edit and for more tech, gaming and adventure videos, keep it right here at Adapt Network.